Hey guys, how you doing? Coming at you from my walk into the office this afternoon. It was the last day of school for my kids. Spent the morning at the beach with them. I'd like to have that opportunity to do that because of the flexibility of what we do. And today's video is a little bit of a hate on for the whole idea of a five figure, six figure, seven figure business. All Everybody talking all about this. I do five figures a month. I do seven figures a year, whatever. Something I'd like people to tell me, power driving by here. I'd like them to tell me how much money they save this year towards their retirement or financial independence based on the revenue they did. Because I think that speaks more volumes than how much revenue you actually did versus, you know, how much you kept, right? Because currently what I'm highly, highly hyper-focused on is buying as many dividend, like high yield stocks, like blue chip stocks and ETFs that are baskets of those types of stocks that will generate me income, right? So I'm buying up stuff that pays a four, five, six percent yield, holding it, obviously, I'm doing this in my company, not personally. So I'm doing that with profits. So I'm not taking a bunch of money out of our corporation. I'm keeping it in there. I'm buying these ETFs, these stocks, which are yielding a profit, which I'm then in turn buying more stocks and more ETFs with. My goal is to generate $100,000 a year in passive dividend income from these different assets, right? And the mix in that doesn't really matter because I'm not a financial advisor, nor is this to be taken as financial advice. That's not my point here, right? My point though is, whatever you're doing, if you find yourself as an opportunity seeker, like you jump a lot, you know you're smart, you know you could really hit a home run, but you haven't yet, stop jumping and start focusing and start doing, right? If anybody who's listened to Jim Rome before, he's passed away and since gone, but he's a motivational speaker, came from the MLM direct sales world. But I remember this one thing, it's probably a video we had from like the 60s. And one of the things he said was, you can't sit on the fence too long, right? Because time passes you by. And that really stuck with me because I've found at different points in my life, I get stuck on the damn fence, right? But the other thing that he said was that if you're sitting on the fence for too long, then it doesn't matter which side you get off on because you're just sitting there doing nothing. So you got to get off on one side and do something, right? So you got opportunity A, you got opportunity B. Maybe you got C, D, E, F, G right through to Z, right? At some point, it doesn't matter which one you do, especially if you've got analysis paralysis, right? So today's video is really directed at twofold. One, anyone who feels stuck and isn't making it happen yet, you got a day job still, or you're just kind of scraping by and whatever it is you're trying to do. Double, triple, quadruple down on one area, one thing, one niche, one service, one aspect of it, and become, just be the best, the damn best at that, right? That's one point. The second point is don't worry about how much revenue is in QuickBooks or, you know, whatever app you're using. I use QuickBooks, right? Focus on how much you keep, right? Focus on month to month how much your savings is going up, how much your net worth is increasing, right? How many, how much, what's your portfolio look like for investments, right? What's your emergency fund look like, right? That you can rely on. Focus on that, right? Because at the end of the day, unless you want to work till you're forever and ever, we should be focusing on how we're going to extract wealth from our business, help that grow, and then create financial independence for ourselves, right? So totally different video today, but that's just what I've been focusing on. I wanted to share that. Breathing a little heavy, sorry, walking and talking. Um, but everybody have a great day. And if you got questions about this, hit me up down below. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back on track tomorrow with media buying stuff. So have a great afternoon. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.